Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Glad you're here. And you know before I start any magic product review, I do a quick tune on the fiddle. But you're probably wondering, what is with those rock and roll style glasses you have on today? Well, it is an homage to the creator of the product we're going to review today. Now before we get into that, let's do a quick fiddle tune. What that tune is, you know, when I start these a lot of times, I don't practice or rehearse, I just pick it up, and whatever tune comes into my head, that's what I play. If you know what that song is, leave it down in the comments so I can put it in the description. Anyway, probably more info than you guys really want. Glad you are all here. So anyway, let's talk about what we're reviewing today. We are going to review Big Picture by Kyle Parnell, and it is released through Vanishing Ink. Anyway, uh, this is an interesting um, card routine. Stick around and see if this product is right for you. All right, it's Big Picture by Kyle Parnell. Purnell, I said Parnell, didn't I? Purnell, Kyle Purnell, released through Vanishing Ink. All right, let's just get right into it. I guess I should take off these uh, crazy glasses. Why am I wearing the red glasses? If you're not familiar with Kyle Purnell, he always has signature red rimmed glasses that look awesome on him. And so this is my homage to you, Kyle, if you're watching, really like the red rimmed glasses. But I wanna be able to see you guys, so I'm gonna take them off so that I can better see you. <sighs> there you are. It's nice to actually see you guys. All right, what the heck is big picture? Well, in essence, it's a mentalism effect uh, done in the form of a prediction. You're going to have uh, a deck of cards here. You have inside here two prediction cards. So you're going to pull those out. You're going to set them to the side. Uh, and then you'll pull out your deck of cards to have your spectator. You'll show them like you got this blank deck of cards on one side. But on the other side, you have cards that each have words on them. And you will go ahead and have them think of any one of these words. Um, you'll then essentially have them say, well, what word were you thinking of? And then you will show from your prediction cards, you'll turn them over to reveal that whatever their thought of card, you have actually uh, predicted it in advance and you've drawn their prediction. And the reason you have two cards is because you'll present it as if I wasn't sure if you're gonna go with this or if you're gonna go with this. So I decided on to make sort of two predictions, but then as you turn it over, you reveal that it's actually a picture of whatever their chosen card is. That's what the effect is. Really pretty cool effect. Now with that said, uh, there's some things I wanna make sure you really uh, know about uh, this product. So let's start off with what do you get? So in this right here, uh, you're going to get your gimmick deck and you're going to get a tutorial that is 33 minutes in length. I will say, if you purchase this, please watch the tutorial first before you do anything with this tuck case. And I'm mostly saying that because you don't want to remove the cellophane from your tuck case because it's gonna be <coughs> excuse me, critical for this effect. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how are the instructions. So the creator, Kyle Purnell, will actually do the tutorial. It's shot with a really nice style. Uh, two cameras shoot close up on the hands when you need them and a uh, spectator view for the rest of it and the instructions. Kyle is a great teacher, does a nice job. I have zero uh, points in terms of like how he teaches and he teaches well. I do have some issues in the tutorial with some of the moves that, um, and when I say moves, they're not like slides. Um, they just feel a little bit unmotivated for me. Uh, like, do I really need to do that? Part of it is like you do a false shuffle. Jen is like, yeah, I don't know if you really need to do that. Um, and um, so there's a couple moves that feel unmotivated to me and unnecessary. Now, Kyle's been performing this for a long time, so I trust him and his judgment uh, as a performer in doing this. I, however, just so you know, when I do these reviews, I actually perform every single effect, 
before I uh, do a review for you here on the channel so that you can know uh, what is that. Uh, sometimes I do them for uh, family or friends and other times I'm doing them out in a professional setting. I actually performed this out in the real world for a real audience uh, just this week and uh, got really great reactions. And I'll say that um, I felt indifferent about this effect, uh, not really loving it to be honest, uh, was ambivalent would be the best way uh, to uh, say what my reaction was. But once I was out and I performed it for people, it got great reactions, people seemed to really respond well, and so I sometimes have to get out of my own head and my own thinking uh, from a you know magician thinking and just really put it out in the real world to see what the reactions are. Gets great reactions. Um, and um, yeah, well, that's what I'll say for that piece right now. So let's talk a little bit more about the instructions. Kyle's going to teach you two different handlings, and I'm going to say handlings even though in his tutorial he talks about sort of like uh, his initial routine, and then he does what he calls his advanced routine. It is not an advanced routine, and Kyle acknowledges that on the tutorial. It's just a different handling uh, for the effect. Uh, it is advanced handling is his preferred handling. I felt the complete opposite. I liked his sort of like basic handling of it. Uh, to me, it just felt simpler. The difference is how you set up the deck. You will have to set up the deck initially. It'll take you maybe, I don't know, two, three minutes. It doesn't, you know, there's no arts and crafts or anything. It's just about how to set up the deck um, and how you put your cards in this tuck case, which I'm going to talk about here in a second in a little more detail. Um, so, um, yes, that's my... Uh, Thinking there uh, on that, between the two different handlings, um, that's what you're getting on there. They're basically two different ways to set up the deck. Um, sort of just keeping it simple there, that's really what it is. Um, so I'll also add that since the tutorial is only 33 minutes in length, you are um, not gonna get an advanced training on mentalism and how to build up tension and when to finally do your reveal and release that tension, how you build suspense, which often I think in mentalism effects are pretty important pieces of it. Uh, that is not taught in this tutorial. With that said, that's not a criticism. It's just something for you to be aware of. And I actually think the way this routine and the choices of words that are chosen, it's not really that sort of effect where you're building lots of tension up or the need to do that because they're really fun words and fun reveals, I think. So um, I think it's appropriate for this release. Um, but if you're sort of thinking about like how much in depth you're gonna get on mentalism, you're gonna learn how to do the effect and how to perform it. Uh, all right, let's talk about the gimmick. This is where I have really mixed reactions. The gimmick is good, so, uh, but I'll start off with, you're gonna get bicycle uh, red rider back uh, cards for your reveal in your prediction and your tuck case is a red rider back card cards your cards even though they're double blank cards these are obviously United States playing card company cards they handle great they feel great because they're United States playing card company uh, cards uh, what uh, I didn't like about the gimmick and I'm going to apologize in advance because I might accidentally in doing so um, you might see a little bit of sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you're, you'll get a little bit of a peek about some of my issue here. So this routine begins with you pulling out your deck of cards. Nothing to see here in your tuck case. There's um, nothing to say like it's gimmicked. But you're going to, it gets a little tricky because you must keep the cellophane on here. The cellophane is really tight. And you have to make sure that when you're pulling out your prediction cards, that you're doing it without sort of giving away something. So you can see as I'm doing this, I feel like I have to be delicate in order to do that. You'll see one prediction and you'll see my other prediction card. I have two prediction cards. You're going to pull these two prediction cards out and I feel when you're doing this, it's a little bit knacky and will take a little bit of practice. I find when I'm performing this for real people that it's, you're chatting, people aren't really looking or expecting you to be doing anything at this point. So in essence, you just then 
pull out your two cards and you're going to set your two prediction cards on the top of your case and you're going to come back to them a little bit later. That's when you go into the portion of your routine where you are going to uh, have them think of a card. So that's part of the process there. But I don't like the tuck case with how tight the cellophane is on there to be able to pull out your prediction cards. I do think there's a solution there and you can come up with probably your own multiple solutions in terms of where you keep your prediction cards and how you want to pull them out. Uh, but that is an issue for me that I did not like about it. Not a deal breaker, but a little bit of piece that feels knacky and a little bit fumbling on a trick that's really easy to do. So that's sort of that. It's like, this is an easy trick to do, super easy, but pulling those cards out of there and you have to make sure that you pull them out properly um, is, is knacky. All right, so I think in terms of the question I started with, like, how is the gimmick? Um, that's just sort of a process or procedural piece here that you should be aware of uh, here without giving away more and giving away method. Um, all right, if anything breaks, like I find like putting the prediction back in here when I go to reset it, like it's so tight that I'm worried I'm actually like going to bend this card and then I'll just have to get a new card and write a prediction on the back of it. So that's not a big deal, but something for you to think about as you do this. And maybe it'll loosen up over time, but I feel like I've been trying to loosen it up, practicing putting it in and pulling it out a lot, um, and still doesn't feel like it's gotten any easier over time. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, if you're wondering like how rough or how smooth you can be with these cards so that uh, they'll be durable, uh, you should be able to handle them the same way you would any gimmicked deck that you've used historically. So any gimmick deck that you've used in the past, uh, they will last as long as they typically last for you. So uh, will they last an eternity? No, uh, but you'll be able to uh, be a, bit, a little bit rough with them and you'll be smooth in no time uh, performing this. All right, what's the skill level? Skill level is 100% beginner. 100% beginner. It is so self-working, there is no slights to learn. There are no angle issues. Um, you'll be performing this uh, once you watch the tutorial and set up your deck. You'll be able to perform it right away and you will look like a true mentalist. Uh, there's just no problems there. Let's talk a little bit about the pros here. This is a great self-working mentalism effect. It's easy to do. You'll allow you to focus in on your performance. Um, you'll be performing it within five minutes after the tutorial. Um, I think it's a fun uh, mentalism effect. It's not like a deep, dark, short mentalism effect. It's a fun mentalism prediction effect to do. Now, the cons, I've mentioned most of them already. I didn't like the cellophane on there, uh, on the cards. Uh, there was a couple of moves that Kyle does in the tutorial that to me seem unmotivated and unnecessary. I trust his judgment because this is his effect and he's been performing it and some of those subtleties probably do make a difference. When I performed it in the real world, I did not have that issue. Um, so, and I've performed this in front of people as I've mentioned and uh, no problem. So, um, but on the tutorial I felt like my magician thing is, that move is not motivated, I don't even need to do it. Um, and when I performed it, I didn't do those moves and it still is fine. Um, all right. Um, if you're looking for like hard-hitting predictions, uh, emotionally, emotionally charged response, uh, mentalism effect, it's not that. Uh, it is a good, light-hearted, fun uh, prediction effect. So, um, all right. Um, I said, I think a little bit earlier, I was ambivalent about this trick. And mostly because I watched the, uh, uh, the teaser for it, Immediately figured out, like, oh, I'm pretty sure what the method is. Got it. Oh, yeah, it's exactly the method that I thought of. Uh, so for me, I felt like, eh, okay. Um, watched the tutorial and then went out and performed it for real people. And it's one of those things where you go, you got to stop thinking like a magician, perform it for real people and see what the reactions are. Reactions are great. So, all right. Who's going to like this? I think anyone who likes to do close-up magic uh, with cards and loves to do mentalism, this is right in your alley. This is the pocket of magic for you. Um, you'll be able to reset this in front of your audience as you're doing the cleanup. So it takes seconds to reset, uh, which is really nice. And you know, you can make it part of your everyday carry. You can make it part of your strolling magic. Not great, I think, for 
uh, parlor or stage because it really is a close-up effect uh, in my opinion. The cost here is $29.95 in the United States. That's a great cost for this effect. It's going to last you a long time. I think it's priced well. Uh, and if you like the effect, it's something for you to consider. All right. Um, so I think if you, the takeaway here for me is it's a fun, easy to do prediction effect um, that will look like real mentalism. I had some issues with the cellophane uh, and it being too tight on the card box and a little funky and knacky to have to pull the cards out for your prediction piece of it. I think there are solutions for that that you can come up with uh, in order to do that. I don't think they're deal breakers, but I think they're things that are going to be important for you to know. All right, I think that's it. If you purchased it, add some comments below in terms of what your thoughts were on it. Maybe something I didn't mention that you think would be important uh, or to uh, punctuate maybe a point that I made that you thought would be helpful for the rest of the community. Please do so or just leave a message to say hi. One of my favorite parts is interacting with you guys in the community. Um, I love that part of it. And so just say hi. I always like that. And uh, go ahead and like it. Uh, that helps with the algorithms as I really am attempting to build this channel. Uh, so I really appreciate you all being here and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Thank you all for being here. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny and remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.